Hershey's Kisses a big, big chocolate. Little Hershey's Kisses a big, big chocolate. Hello, 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 and welcome. I'm leading you in with a Hershey's jingle. That's the time of the, you know, the, you know, the 80s really were kind of like, or maybe 70s with the jingleish times in advertising. So, but it's in Valentine's Day week, so I thought I'd give you some Hershey kisses, uh, just to keep uh, in tune with that. So why don't we get started? I think we're heading into module number four. We're kind of moving along here. Things are, are taking off. We're getting organized. By this time, you have finished your first test, and hopefully that went very well for you. We have um, module number four, which is chapter four in the textbook. We have things that are due that are coming up as normal. Uh, what you're going to see a little differently on this time that we're going to start adding in is your uh, class participation. So you'll see that grade popping in. Uh, this week we've got a reading quiz, we've got some discussion, some homework, and a case study. Um, just so let, Why don't we just get started and kind of hit this so you can see what we've got going on. So learning module number four, and let's just click here. I'm just going to get out of my, this preview mode. And learning module number four. So, let's, so here's what we're looking to accomplish. We want to, we're looking at STP marketing and we're looking at target segments we're choosing target segments we're looking at positioning and the ingredients to build a brand's value proposition all really kind of cool practical stuff so we want to start off and we want to kind of dig into that a little bit more um, as we get through here so what we have uh, here are the dates kind of stuff that you've got going on you've got a reading quiz that's coming up that's everything is due on the 19th with the exception of the discussion questions the first round is due on Saturday by Saturday 2 16 uh, we do have a case study that is due and I want to talk about that a little bit as well so we get the readings and videos so we have some readings right in here uh, we have an article segmentation targeting position models and then we also have uh, some PowerPoints that are available for you to take a look at so we want you to go through those our discussion questions, there are two only this week. One is on media kits, which I'm going to break off in just a second here, and one is on the vows. So let's start off with the vows. This is a strategic business insights vows pre-survey. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click into this, take the survey, and then kind of respond back. And that should that correlates back to the textbook a little bit. So media kits. Some of you have not done media kits before, but um, or may never have seen them or may not understand them, but why don't we get a little discussion going on them? So every magazine, every radio station, every TV station website that sells ads develops a media kit that they pitch, that they use as a pitch to sell um, a potential buyer. So what I did was uh, I went off and I've got two and I'm going to show them to you in a second here what they look like. And I'd like you to find their, what they call the rate card and then explain the magazine who's the target audience or whatever I like you to go through and now I say favorite magazine you might not have a magazine but maybe you could find a website that has that or a radio station or something like that or maybe you have a TV station um, so here's how this works so I went over to Wired magazine I kinda Google this Wired magazine I'm interested in getting your rate card those were the words that I said Wired magazine media kit rate card and this is what we got so it's a pitch page. It says, hey, you know, here's here's what we do. And you can see that they sell online. They've got a Wired magazine. They do the, the media. And then they have this PDF. So if you click on the downloadable PDF, you can see what's going on here. It says, you know, editor-in-chief. This is who the people are. You know, and then they said, here's their demos. And here's the print demos, the digital demos. So you add three, so they got three million, three point one. Now an M, by the way, in marketing, okay, so is generally a thousand, okay. But in this particular case, this is three point one million people. There they make ninety nine thousand dollars on average. That's household income. The medium age who reads Wired magazine is forty two. Seventy seven percent male, twenty three percent female and they get 1.1 million in this age group, 2.1 million in this age group, 
and then head of households or household income, sorry, um, make $100,000 or more is $1.6 million. So if you were to be looking at this as an advertising venue, you're hitting a high-end demographic, a little older, primarily male. If you were looking at the digital demo, you would have 19.3 million, so you've got quite a few more people read it online, you know, like so it's six maybe times, six X that. The income goes down, the age goes up, you get more females and males, like so you can see the difference in how it's switched. Then you can see, well, hey, look, so now this is probably within the same, you know, ratios if you were looking at this. Um, so the ratios are probably the same because you just, you have to multiply this by six. Okay, so the same age group roughly looking at it as online. Then you could just, then you got your social followers. So you've got social, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, right? And here are the big four ones that you got. And this is how many people follow it year over year. Percentage, digital traffic, you know, unique visitors to a website is, you know, it's a, it's a unique visitor, somebody that's new. Page views, that includes people coming back and they get 28 million page views on the wired. Okay, so total circulation. So this is kind of their rate card. Now you would have to, from here, that's what their media kit is. They don't tell you what the pricing looks like. So why don't we head off to a different one? And so this is a more of a general one. People may recognize these faces or at least this name, Food Network Magazine. And so all I did was I did Food Network Magazine media kit. That's what I got. And so this is what their media kit is. You can download the full media kit. And it says, hey, we got 13.4 million readers. You know, this is the average subscription price. Top five monthly magazine on the newsstand. Over 40 million social media followers. So then it gets into what their editorial calendar is. If you have not seen one of these, the edit they call it edit calendar or editorial calendar. So they say so it's so we're in February. It's it's the superfood issue. Next March is the comfort food, and so they actually plan essentially more a year or more out. You know, once you so so the ads close. See this the ads for this magazine actually closed in December twenty first eighteen, and it goes on sale this week. So. If you wanted to buy an ad in a magazine, the, the earliest one you could buy is May, which is 227. Okay, so then it gets into this is what they do: promo pages, press releases, talent partnerships, samplings. They do all the things. Remember, this is they produce a magazine, but they're really in business to sell stuff like advertising. Here is how many. Here's the audience. You know, they've got 9.7 million people, women that read it. So they're Percentage of women is 72, totally different than Wired, probably the, almost the opposite. You've got, it's an issue 18 to 49 demo, is a pretty big demo. 18 to 34 is a big demo. They get some pretty big demos. The people who do this, who read this magazine, make less money than those who, who read Wired. Okay, so it depends on who you're trying to get to. Now, here's what they call the rate card. Okay. So this is a base rate of 1.75 million. Okay, so... If you would like to buy a full page ad, this is you know one time ad, it's one hundred six thousand dollars. But if you want to buy it three times, they're only going to charge you one hundred one thousand a time, one hundred one nine fifty, which is four percent savings, six percent savings. If you want to buy twelve, so if you want to buy a one page full full page four color, which is like you know that's the most beautiful ad that you can get, that is ninety three thousand dollars if you buy it every month. Now, if you want a black and white, same thing. If you want a one page every month, it's seventy-four thousand. You can see their half page ads. Then they get into here, like if you want a click tag on their tablets, twenty-five hundred bucks. Rotation net images. Let's see where my mouse is. Rotate one hundred eighty to sixty degrees to create a three-dimensional perspective. Touch the image to rotate. That's twenty thousand dollars. Animations are fifteen thousand. Okay, so it gets into here, like you can buy. You know, magazine specs. So it gets very much into uh, the specifics on what you can do and what you can buy with them. And then if you want more information, all you do is you give them a call and say, I'd like to do this. Um, and here are all the contacts. All right. So what I'd like you to do is to go out and find your own rate card and come back and talk about it. All right. Let's get in the homework. Very simple. Same thing that we've been doing. Chapter 4 is here. Do 219. So we've got a reading quiz. Same thing, reading quiz. Um, whoops, I just got, I got to put that stuff in there. It's a 90 minutes, 50 questions, or that type, of, or I think it's 20. So it's 25 questions. You have two attempts, etc. I'm just going to put that up there. Okay, then you also have your case study. Your case study is this is what it's due. So some of you have already started this. 
I'm looking for APA format. Don't get overly concerned about APA. I give you some stuff in here to look at, but just I'm using it as a format. But I'm, I'd like you to answer these these sections right in here. You know, so give me five points on APA. Introductory paragraph, ten points. Talk about cite the textbook. Talk about the direct response television. Cite that. Talk about the infomercial. That's worth twenty points. Closing paragraph, ten points. And you can see, like I'm looking for infomercial one, infomercial two, infomercial three. APA reference page which is 15 points so make sure you give me a good reference page um, and you can see examples on APA reference pages over at OWL so it's a pretty simple uh, it's a pretty simple week if you get any questions by all means don't hesitate to reach out and ask happy to help you and uh, hope all is well all right everybody enjoy your week and again if you have any questions let me know